We've got a new statement from former President Donald Trump. ALX tweets, Trump, World War III has never been closer, closer than it is right now. Quote, take a look at the globalist warmonger donors backing our opponents. That's because they're candidates of war. I am the president who delivers peace, and it's peace through strength. I think he's taking a swipe right there at DeSantis. But I got to be honest, that's probably the most tactful swipe he could have taken. Mm -hmm. uh, Ron DeSanctimonious, and they're, they're trying to claim he called him Meatball Ron, which is way better. I got to be honest, Meatball Ron is better than Ron DeSanctimonious, but I don't think Trump said that. I think he denied it. But uh, let me play a little bit of this clip from uh, Donald Trump for you. Uh, not, not the full thing. It's four minutes, but we'll give you part of his statement here. Stop the warmongers and globalists. World War III has never been closer than it is right now. We need to clean house of all of the warmongers and America last globalists in the deep state, the Pentagon, the State Department, and the national security industrial complex. One of the reasons I was the only president in generations who didn't start a war is that I was the only president who rejected the catastrophic advice of many of Washington's generals, bureaucrats, and the so-called diplomats who only know how to get us into conflict, but they don't know how to get us out. For decades, we've had the very same people, such as Victoria Nuland and many others just like her, obsessed with pushing Ukraine toward NATO, not to mention the State Department support for uprisings in Ukraine. These people have been seeking confrontation for a long time, much like the case in Iraq and other parts of the world. And now we're teetering on the brink of World War III. And a lot of people don't see it, but I see it. And I've been right about a lot of things. They all say Trump's been right about everything. None of this They, they all say. Thank you. Well, for who is they, though? Yeah, exactly, dude. What, <laughs> what's, 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 what's Trump trying to say? I, I watched this who video until they? that moment and shut it off <laughs> earlier as well. Right after he said, quote, they all say Trump's been right about everything. This I, hyperbolic yeah. madness is not... Uh, Poised well, for office. I, I'm sorry, it, the guy's not no, not stable. Yeah, you're wrong. Complete I, idiocy to say that kind of thing. Ex excuse to be the me, president. Ex excuse me. Wrong, <clears throat> wrong. Uh, Everyone says I'm the greatest at everything. Like who the hell talks like that? <laughs> Trump does. Trump. Look, man. Hell? No, no. It's it's this, a lie. This, People. This, that's not a true statement. He's a liar. Hyperbole and lies are distinct. Yes, Trump, there, Trump well, being, a hyperbole can be a lie as well. I mean, yeah. Trump being boastful and, and and talking like that is kind of something I would roll my eyes at. But I got to be real with the East Palestine stuff, with seeing Joe Biden go to Ukraine. I'm like, I'm 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 voting for Trump. Like Ron Ron DeSantis has the tact. He's got good policy. He's done great for Florida. But just like I, at, this was such an unnerving move that joe biden did with this ukraine trip it it was like getting punched in the balls as hard as possible